this uh, suicide prevention day. So I thought it will be better if we talk something about that and friends can also contribute after Dr. Uh, Rakesh Shin. Please, Rakesh Shin. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Today it is World Suicide Prevention Day. 10th September is observed at, as Suicide Prevention Day. There is an international association on suicide prevention. And since 2003, the society is observing. And uh, uh, this, is, this has been declared as a day world over. And the, uh, every three year, a theme is given to the occasion. This is creating hope through action. If we look into the statistics data regarding suicide, it is certainly alarming. Seven to eight lakh people across the world commit suicide every year. Out of that, the data of previous year of India, it was 1,64,033 reported, I am adding the word, reported suicide in our country in 2021. If we continue to break it, that means 18 suicide per hour. So the number is quite huge. 18 suicide. So I was telling, we are observing in our department this day that with, it was a program of two hours, scheduled program of two hours, that by the end of our two hours, 36 people in, in the country might have lost their life due to suicide. So it is. And this, the statistics also shows that the number is increasing in our country every year. The number which was in 2020 and 2021, it has increased. And if we go further into the data of, available data of suicide, the people committing suicide and the people attempting suicide, if we look into the ratio, the people 20 times of those who committed suicide, they attempt the suicide. That means 1,64,000, we see 32 lakh approximately persons attempt suicide every year. And adding to the, this, that, this issue, attempting suicide is the largest predictor of committing suicide in the lifetime. Those who have attempted in their life, they are more vulnerable for committing the suicide. And if we further look into different correlates of suicide, it is reported that the people in a low income group, that is up to five lakh, those persons who are having low income and low education, about 50% or even more, they compose of this, per, this population of uh, come, the persons who succumb to the suicide. And uh, if we uh, look into the data of students, it is about 8,000 students in educational institutions, about 8,000 students commit suicide every year. So, and suicide is preventable. This is an important thing that it is preventable. And if we look into the more, more how people commit suicide, the suicide by hanging is the most common method. Next is consumption of pesticide. And then comes other modes, drowning, self-immolation and other modes of suicide. 
and contrary to the public opinion, male are more who actually successfully commit the suicide. Male are more. So then what to do as a mental health professional, as a member of society, each of us has certain, some amount of responsibility, some amount of um, accountability to these persons who actually commit suicide. To adding to the, the scenario recently about three days back, one associate professor of psychology in Jammu University hanged himself in his office in the campus, in his room. It has become a issue at state level, JNK state level, as well as some national media is exposing it. So why, why people commit suicide? So if we look into the reasons of committing suicide, it is mostly psychosocial problems, family problems. And there are, some, of course, are other problems also, financial problems, relationship problems. There are various causes reported. And the theory says there are two major aspects. One is a reduction in belongingness. When a person thinks that he is alone in this world, losing connections, this is one and added by burdensomeness. When a person thinks that is he or she is a burden on this earth plane, on this society, then there are high chances that person may opt for suicide. Then how do we help as a professional, as a common man, everyone can. More than 50% of the persons who commit suicide at some point of time during contemplation stage, that whenever they contemplate about suicide, they mention it directly or indirectly to the family members, to the friends, to their social network, their mode of communication, their behavior, changes in their behavior, that communicate that something is going on seriously and it so what happened in a society, we are not very much comfortable regarding talking about the suicide. We ourselves feel intimidated, overwhelmed with the idea to explore this aspect of thinking, emotions, and the planning. It is, it is held that the persons having mental illness, specifically depressive disorders, bipolar disorders, schizophrenia, substance abuse, anxiety disorder, these people are vulnerable to suicide. But each and every person who commits suicide is not uh, having uh, mental illness, clinical condition, but there are there are difficulties in the life, stress in the life. When person thinks that it is the only alternative, it is the only solution. In fact, it is not the solution. When a person ends one's own life, considering it as a solution, in fact, creates lots of pain and suffering in the people around him or her, in the family members, in the siblings, in the parents, it is quite painful. It is quite embarrassing. It induces feeling of shame and guilt in 
family members also. And they, they suffer for a long time. So what to, what to do? The simplest thing anyone can do is helping the person in a usual manner with the social support. Simply inquiring if, a, if someone is expressing something like, which may indicate a th thinking regarding suicide can explore it, support it. Explore means it's not directly asking, are you contemplating suicide? Not, not so straightforward, but in a supportive manner, empathetic manner, in a, initially in an indirect manner, how one can help the person. It is also reported that the, this simple sharing, in fact, the person who is thinking of suicide is in great distress, looking forward for this support. And the support is not available. If we, as a professional, as a person, if we can be with the person, be connected with that person emotionally, and encourage the verbalization of this kind of thinking can be a great support and a relief. And it itself is a catharsis. It unburdens to certain extent. One more thing is about, uh, about suicide that most of the suicide occur impulsively. Of course, planned suicide do occur, but impulses, uh, the quantum of impulsive suicide is also huge. Impulsive means immediately the thought came and immediately person opt for suicide and engages in suicidal acts. And if we can interrupt those impulses, even briefly, that means that impulse is gone. Once that impulse is gone, the dominating theme of thinking regarding suicide is also subsided. And the person can have alternative thoughts. So helping at that right moment is of great help. And a, a common man may not be so expert, may not be able to that extent, but at least can be with the person. Not lecturing, not preaching, but be with the person, connect with him, be emotionally with him, give some kind of reassurance. And then if there's a case of serious stress, difficult life circumstances or mental background, mental illness of depressive disorder, the depression is such kind of condition that which may go unnoticed in the society. And if the such kind of hopelessness, worthlessness, helplessness, and low mood, if, if this kind of thinking emerges, these kind of emotions are there, then the person can be referred. Many persons may not know where to seek help, that professional help is available. Mental health professionals are available. Even helplines are available. There are many helplines which support the individuals in this crisis. So the person can be referred to those helplines. Initially, because of the stigma, there are hesitations, inhibitions for reaching to the proper help, to the mental health helplines. Not all persons have that courage of contacting. The society seems to be better for them. And also, since uh, once a person decides to commit suicide, then uh, everything feels futile, helping. I don't need any help because I have decided I am to go. So, that, so if through one's support, person can contact the mental health facilities, psychological support system, then that person can be helped. And in fact, Millions of people are being helped every year for, a bit, for preventing the suicide. So, 
So this is one thing one can do, help the person by simple as social support. This social support of a common man at times can be even more useful than the professional support because it is immediately available. Person is emotionally connect, connected with the persons around him, the friends, the family members. They are already in rapport, they are already connected, they know the emotions, they know the personality of each other. So that immediate help can be quite useful. That, that is why it is that creating hope through action, that is the tagline. Creating hope through action means let us act, be proactive. The taboo attached to the idea of suicide, discussing discussions about suicide, sharing the thoughts of suicide, that is, stigma has to go. One more hesitation we find in common man that if we discuss something about this about suicide with the person, just merely by discussions, by raising this topic, one can plant the idea of suicide in other person. कि मैं उससे बात करूंगा तो कहीं उसके मन में सुसाइड की बात ना आ जाए कहीं मेरी बात करने से वो सुसाइड का आइडिया पिकअप ना कर ले और वो सुसाइड का आइडिया मुझसे पिकअप कर लेगा सुसाइड कर लेगा देन आई विल आई विल फाइंड माय सेल्फ गिल्टी एंड रिस्पांसिबल फॉर दैट मे बी सोशली एंड मॉरली और लीगली इनफैक्ट इट इज नॉट द केस द आइडिया ऑफ सुसाइड ओरिजिनेट इन द पर्सनस ओन माइंड नो वन कैन प्लान इफ आई give you everyone i'm giving the, this idea of suicide that suicide can be committed this way it can be committed lots of literature lots of material is there on net also people do search on net also but it it is it, it is not going to lead the suicide until the person has that vulnerability that background of stress mental illness substance abuse or some kind of problem so that by talking to the person regarding suicide is not going to plant the idea the only care we have to take is to be sensitive to be empathetic to relate to the person be care be supportive in a caring manner one can explore and for that purpose there are agencies who are training common people for psychological first aid there is a concept there is a brief training of 3 4 days that by training the persons on psychological first aid we can in fact educate the common man how to help the persons in distress and or of then uh, if cases come to mental health professionals we have uh, our therapies therapeutic approaches techniques cognitive behavior therapy meditation then interpersonal therapies other forms of therapies it is there or oh, specialized kind of thing but mainly the, the initial so in initial in, uh, interruption of this pattern of suicide think pattern of, of thinking regarding suicide that is more useful and in fact every person every each one of us can contribute in this direction so we can i think we can open some discussion question answer so that we can move on further in this direction so it's uh, thank you sir for giving me an opportunity to share why this thank you very much you gave a uh, very nicely in a very precise way in a short period you gave lot of uh, information about it so good uh i would like avnish to say something about the yeah. topic please yes thank you uh well answer uh for this uh, i actually got delayed and i could not attend the first case because i was handling the opd where i got delayed but uh, yes uh uh i would also uh, like to thank rakesh sir for uh, uh, you know creating a good insight and being in a very precise academic way uh, he has uh, described things so i feel that you know my uh, usual nature is to create a humor into every serious things and so i would uh, like to uh, point out one uh, sort of a humorous incident that a student of 12th science had failed 
and uh, naturally the response is after you get an unexpected result the person is afraid of uh, you know consequences how he will face that failure so he was strolling around some lake and was looking for a proper place to commit suicide so there somebody noticed him and uh, then he approached him as uh, rakesh ji has already described what is to be done so i am just describing this therapy through this that that person approached him and asked him that gentleman what are you about to so initially says no 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 nothing nothing he would not open up but then he just puts his hand on the shoulder and then says that tell me i can help you maybe give a solution he said that nothing can be done you know i wanted to go into such a great field and you know? he had expected and then i am here uh, having a total failure so everything is lost and i am now of no use so that worthlessness is one of the symptom so then he says that yes i am thinking of committing suicide so that is where the impulse is and at the point of impulse if you are able to convert your pains into the laughter i feel that instantly uh, when you want to help a person and if you are creative enough then you should teach him how to convert or how to laugh out the pains and problems and uh, that can help a lot so this gentleman is doing the same that uh, he says that uh, okay i agree that you will jump into this uh, lake and you will die then what will happen so then he starts describing that you will jump you will die maybe you will again born as a human being again you will go to standard one after 6 years then again you will appear in 12th after another 12 uh, you know at 18 years of age and you will come up to the same point appearing the 12th exam so you will take a long round of 18 years to face the same situation instead be quiet failures come to everyone's life just prepare for another 6 months appear for the next trial and i am sure you will clear it up so that is how uh, you know at the moment when you are able to help out the person of a kind of relief mechanism and most of the time when uh, rakesh sir told about uh, uh, about the impulse the impulse management either in the form of trying to relieve that energy which has collected to the point that the person is uh, you know planning to end his life at that point if we can help him out and uh, many such cases uh, i have handled in students and uh, they really work well uh one more thing i was uh, uh, about to is that the demography across the demography the causes of suicide amongst the youngsters and the uh, adults grown ups uh, rakesh ji has already mentioned uh, all the reasons and the many good causes uh, i find that uh, in adolescents they have their own self created definition of success and uh, when they are not able to meet with that success whatever they have defined it and this definition is keeping on changing from time to time with uh, lots of uh, you know western uh, culture uh, entering penetrating into the indian youngsters uh, everyone is uh, stressed more because of so called imagined success and anything which is not coming as per their wish they count it as a failure and uh, their ability to digest the failure accept the failure stay with it that is very less and as a result most of them they want to respond like this by either eliminating or making an attempt many times they are making an attempt uh, my recent few cases i would uh, say that they are using youngsters at times are using uh, this suicidal attempts to either relieve their pain the psychological pain they are getting or also to create some get some secondary gains in the form of uh, uh, you know trying to pressurize the other so in one of the schools uh, i was uh, very uh, surprised that out of 25 girls in the class in the adolescent age group like it was a class of 11th standard 
out of 25 girls in the class, 21 had the cut marks on their forearm. So that was really shocking for me. And uh, I, I uh, recently also got few adolescent girls that are apparently concerned because these girls, they try to put various cut marks on their forearm. But of course, they were all attempts because none of the cut marks was exactly on the point where the artery is lying. It was far beyond that and it was far higher than the location where exactly the artery is lying and which can actually be fatal. They were not even deep enough. So at times these are used as an either adventure or to check their ability to bear the pain because the risk taking behavior is also one of the innate part of the adolescent uh, behavior. And as a result of that, uh, many of them, uh, they are trying to test this, that whether they have the ability and whether this can be the relief mechanism for relieving their pain. And the secondary gain is that, you know, they are either able to uh, pressurize their uh, counterparts, uh, either if it is a boyfriend or it is a parents. Uh, yeah, the game of cuts, somebody, you know, said this is becoming a fashion. So a uh, lot of influences uh, coming from a lot many online games also. So these are some of the additional things in the younger generation, uh, which I see. And uh, in them, uh, we need to uh, not only educate them, but we need to, uh, you know, motivate them to take up a lot many other creative coping measures because they feel that uh, what I have uh, observed in few of the students after uh, this uh, two years of online education, that online education was much more uh, entertaining to them because along with the lectures, they had a lot many other activities going on parallelly. And when they shifted to the offline education, that education became very boring. And uh, many of them never wanting to go to school because it was quite boring after a two years of long vacation. Many of them, they started either getting conversion disorder, some symptoms coming on going to school. Many of them, they started, uh, you know, this kind of uh, behavior uh, in order to keep the uh, parents pressure under check. And uh, uh, that, that uh, made their some secondary motives uh, come up true. Uh, fulfilled. So these are some of the things, but in younger generation, this quitting behavior, when we consider the real suicides in the youngsters, the quitting behavior is uh, quite becoming a fashion. They very fast quit because this is a generation uh, which is a very, very uh, fast generation and they are just at few clicks on the mobile. They are able to access the world and they are able to uh, you know, get anything, whatever they want. So they have become ultra fast and uh, any kind of delay in that or delay in the gratification, they are not tolerant to it. And so whenever this intolerance to any of their gratification develops, they immediately quit. Uh, in few of the students, I have seen this behavior as compared to the earlier students, which most of the people who are in academics would have observed that in earlier, maybe 10, 15 years back, when you ask a question to a student in the Viva, then uh, he would try to attempt in some or the other way, in whatever capacity. But nowadays, the student very easily says, sir, I don't know. So I say, just try. I'm giving you some hint, but say, I don't know. They don't want to try. So somehow their ability to quit fast is also developing very fast and uh, that is also because of not able to delay any gratification they want everything uh, handy and everything very fast including even the qualifications and degrees so uh, that is what i think uh, uh, my work uh, more of uh, with the adolescents and uh, their suicidal behavior uh, is more rather than with the grown-up adults because they're the classical cases of depressions. 
uh, IC over and uh, when they have the depressive disorders or the whole uh, range of uh, nervousness and depression uh, as Rakesh sir has mentioned already a uh, lot of the reasons uh, and a lot of the causes for that. In that I think that uh, it is the uh, we, we need to give the social support uh, not only that uh, awareness about the various coping measures and uh, uh, empathetic uh, discussion with them about the problem giving them a uh, little bit of uh, you know hope that uh, every problem has some solution and uh, depending on the individual situation we can always uh, you know take up that and and uh, uh, most of the things have been told but this uh, is, is what i had to say about the uh, uh, suicidal tendencies in the adolescent uh, i think uh, uh, that is that is what from my side which is coming to me uh, yes. on a very extempore basis right thank you Nish. Yeah. thank you very much your sharing was very interesting and listed certain things good so uh,